Let me show you a fairly easy and pain-free way of estimating one or two decimal digit roots for second and third degree radicals without the use of calculators. Okay, and uh, this relies heavily on your uh, multiplication facts. Your it's in your memory bank, right? The multiplication table, and it's super straightforward. I'll show you. So to work out the square root of uh, just I'm going to show you uh, with one and two digit numbers, okay? So on this sheet it's going to be square roots, on the next one it's going to be very similar, cube roots, okay? I'm going to show you a one digit number here and a two digit number there, but then you can extend the pattern and uh, and you can do it with basically almost, almost any numbers that you like. It's just going to take more time but it's a fairly straightforward process so how about the square root of 8 now remember that the this ziggy line 8 square root of 8 means that you need two numbers you need to come up with two factors two numbers that multiply to be 8 and 2 times 4 is not gonna work because you need two numbers that are identical okay so 2 and 4 are not identical numbers you need something and something equals 8 but those two somethings have to be the same number so, what you need to do here is a couple of multiplication facts here. 2 times 2 is 4, and I'm going to go further down here. 3 times 3 is 9. Alright, 8 is somewhere there, between 4 and 9. There's also 5, 6... Oh, that's a little ugly. 7, 8, and 9. So, let me see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, nothing left out. Alright. So, if the square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 8 will be between 2 and 3. I think that's reasonable, right? Now, let me see. Say a number between six and seven would be six and a half, and the number between two and three is two and a half. So uh, the square root of about six and a half will be about two and a half, and it's just estimating. And this is like a number line; you can turn it sideways or whatever, and make an actual number line. I'll make a number line on the next one. And, uh, but because we are shooting for this one, 8, it's going to be more than 2 and less than 3, but also more than 2 and a half. So if you estimate the square root of 8 to be 2.7, that's, that's a reasonable answer. That's a little more than 2 and a half, a little less than 3. Uh, 2.8 is also acceptable. 2.9 is also acceptable. It, it needs to be an estimate, so I'm going to go approximately equal to, okay, it's an estimate, a reasonable estimate. So then, uh, what if you're in my class, what I need to see other than this kind of thinking, some kind of evidence of thought process here for, uh, for this one, is I need to see a multiplication. You can multiply any which way you like. I'm going to do a lattice multiplication here. 2.7, 2.7. If you don't like lattice multiplication, don't worry about it. Just do one that you do like. 2 by 7, 14. 2 by 2, 0, 4. 7 by 7 is 49, 2 by 7 is 14, so that's a 9, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 with one carryover, so that's 4, 5, 6, 7, and two decimal digits, 7.29. So, 2, two times 7, 2.7 times 2.7 is 7.29, that's kind of close to 8. Alright, so there's my estimated answer, 2.7 is reasonable. 2.8 is also good. 2.9 is also acceptable. 2.6 is also good. 2.5 is pushing it. That's not really that's uh, that's that's not really good. But so that's how you can work out. That's the basics or the the, the skeletal work, or of uh, working out a root. Uh, the same applies to two-digit numbers, and and the same applies to. Uh, numbers such as how about how about uh, two digit numbers such as I don't know uh, 31 
uh, it can work with decimal numbers, 31.5. Let's work out a one digit root for this one. And this is a cube root gonna be because it's a third degree radical here. Same thought process applies to this one. We need three numbers, three factors that multiply to be 31 and a half. And those three numbers need to be identical. So write up a couple of multiplication facts here on the side. Two cubed is two by two by two. So that's gonna be eight. The next number is three. Oops, that's an ugly three. Three by three is nine by three is 27. 27 is good, it's still less than 31 and a half, so the cube root of 31 and a half will be a little more than 3. Uh, let's see, the next one up is 4 by 4 by 4, and 4 by 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, so you can see that 31 and a half is is somewhere between 27 and 64, and I said I'm going to make a number line, so here goes. How about 30, 40, 50, and 60, and uh, 27 is approximately here, and 64 is approximately there, and we need the we need the cube root of 31 and a half, which is approximately here, so. On this big scale of things, the cube root of 31 and a half will be kind of close to 3 and far away from 4. So 3.1, 3.2 are reasonable estimates. So if you put down, say, 3.2, that's going to get you top marks if you're in my class. And you need to multiply again to check it back. Uh, but you need two pieces of multiplication instead of one and it's straightforward 3.2 times 3.2 i'm going to multiply it this way this time 2 by 3 is 6 3 by 3 is 9 2 by 2 is 4 2 by 3 is 6 add everything there's 4 there's 12 and there is 10 so that's the first multiplication that's squaring now we need to cube it so that's times 3.2 again let me see, 3 by 4 is 12 and 1 carry over. 2 by 3 is 6 plus 1 more is 7. 3 by nothing goes there. 3 by 1 is there. That's 3, just a little the felt pen is thick or marker. 4 by 2 is 8. 2 by 2 is 4. There's the 0 and there's the 2. Let's add everything up. 8 there. 6 there. 7 there. 2 there and three there sorry it's kind of running out of the sheet there and then oh i forgot that's two decimal places there so the decimal dot will be there so the those numbers have three decimal digits in total so 32.765 when you cube 3.2 you're gonna get 32.765 32.765 is pretty close to 31.5 so I say that uh, 3.2 is a very nice reasonable estimate for uh, estimating the cube root of uh, the radical uh, 31.5, third degree radical there. So that's the, that's the thought, thought process with the factors and uh, placing them on a number line, imaginary or whatever, and that's how you can get a decimal, or one or maybe two decimal digits out of it, because when you multiply it back, and if you wanna, if you wanna modify it or change it slightly, this is 7.29, so if you wanna put down 2.8 or 2.75 on your answer sheet, that's also good, you know, that's also good. I, you know, I only need one number, and of course you can check it back on a calculator, but uh, square root of 8, 2.828. So, that's how you can do this without a calculator, and you can see that it works, it's fairly accurately. Uh, and uh, it takes maybe uh, two minutes to work out the answer for this one. If you, uh, once you have the process, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Either 
a cube root or a square root. It's about two minutes to work out an answer or less.